Today I will show you how to tie a realistic stone fly pattern. Here are the materials that you need. For a hook, I am going to use a Mastad long curve shank hook in size number 6. For the antennae, I am going to be using Uniflex in dark brown color. I will be using soft wire in gold color for ribbing materials. For the wing case, I am using Hemingway's wing butts and back in pale color, size large. I will use Antron in tan color as my dubbing materials. For the legs, I will use Hemingway's Stonefly Premium Soft Legs materials in honey colors, size large. As for the body, I am using Hemingway Stonefly Soft Nymph Body in size large, pale color. Lastly, I will be using a thin piece of polypropylene strap that is usually found on box packaging. I cut a section of this the same length of my hook shank and trim both ends to make it a diamond shape. I will be using this as the base for my stonefly body. I found that it makes my stonefly body more flat and wide, adding to the realistic appearance of the fly. Alright, let's begin. Start your thread anywhere on the shank of the hook, taking a few wraps rearward before you're snipping or breaking off the tag. Wind back the tying thread and end with your thread a short distance from the eyes of the hook. Put the polypropylene strip in the center of the hook shank. Take thread wraps to secure it there. I will do about 3 or 4 passes to secure the strip. With every single pass, I increase the thread tension. If you put too much tension on your first pass, you will see that this strip will start to spin around the hook shank instead of staying in place. To ensure that the polypropylene base will remain nicely secured, I will apply a small amount of UV resin on the underside of the base. In this case, I'm using Loon Outdoor UV Clear Finish in Thin Formula. To set the UV resin, a quick shot of UV light. And now that base will not go anywhere. For the antennae, I am going to cut a strip of Uniflex, fold it roughly in half and form a loop. Put the tying thread through the loop and place it right behind the hook eye. Then make a few wraps to secure it in place. For the ribs of the fly, I am going to tie the gold soft wire materials on the hook shank. Start wrapping towards the back of the hook shank. Then wind back the tying thread towards the hook eye. Next, I am going to take the wing case, flip it upside down, and tie it to the base. Take a few wraps to secure it and make sure the wing case stay in the right place when folded down. It should not extend past the hook eye.
To cover the body of the fly, pull a small crumb of antron and dub it onto your tying thread to create a thin dubbing noodle. Start wrapping until you cover all the white color underneath. Take more wrap as necessary. The body of the stonefly should look wide and flat as a result. Take the soft rubber legs from the package and position them so that the legs covers only the front half of the hook shank. Take a few open crisscross wraps to secure it in place. Finish off by bringing your tying thread in the middle of the hook shank. Take the stonefly soft body from the package and tie it down using open spiral wraps. Make sure to have equal spacing between each wraps. Start wrapping all the way towards the tail. Then bring the tying thread back towards the center of the hook shank. Now you will see that there is a gap between the abdomen and thorax of the fly. I will fill the gap with small amount of UV resin. Followed by a quick shot of UV light. To secure the wing butt skin to the stonefly body, I start by pinching the two together, then use a few open spiral wrap of the soft wire to secure it in place. Try to maintain equal spacing between each wrap as you come forward. Then secure the wire with the tying thread and cut or snip off the tag.
Make sure to bring your tying thread back to the center of the hook shank. Fold down the wing case and take the tying thread and wrap it forward to hold down the wing case in place. Make sure to follow the segmentation of the wing case as you wrap forward. Bring your tying thread all the way to the front, right behind the hook eyes, and take a few more wraps. Pull back the antennae to expose the hook eye, then do a 5 or 6 turns of whip finish. Then cut or snip your tying thread free. Now pull the antennae forward and cut it so that it is slightly shorter than the length of the tail. It can hurt to put a field drop of UV resin to protect the whip finish. and also on the wing case. This makes the fly look more shiny and adds to the durability of the fly. Finish off with a shot of UV light. Although not necessary, I do like to color the tips of the legs and tail with black or brown permanent marker to make it look even more like a real stone fly. So there you have it, Hemingway's realistic stone fly. I hope you like what you see. If you enjoy the content, Please consider subscribe to the channel that will help support future content. As always, thank you for watching. See you next time.